Hey guys, it's Karina here with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about evangelism. So in YWAM, I did a lot of evangelism, um, specifically street evangelism, and I felt really passionate about it. And um, it was a really great experience, and it was a wonderful thing to learn, and definitely um, helped me to grow confident in my faith. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk a bit about my journey with evangelism. So as I've stated, I was very passionate about it when I was in YWAM. And then I got home and it was very difficult because I'm like, do I continue to do this or how do I continue to do this? Um, and it was very difficult because I didn't have this community to support me in doing this. So I tried to do it a couple times by myself and um, what I found really hard about it was I was left with this um, feeling that I always needed to evangelize. I always needed to look for opportunities to evangelize and I needed to constantly share my faith. That's what I felt like I needed to do. And that was a very toxic mentality and it was very um, difficult to uphold that. And um, to an extent, um, I can naturally share my faith, but I do think constantly thinking like that was really difficult. and. Um, it was difficult to be in that constant state of mind um, and you know for some people it does really come naturally and they can be in a constant um, mindset of like let's look for an opportunity to evangelize and for me though that created a lot of fear and anxiety and it was not a healthy mindset for me and I had to come to the terms with what does evangelism mean to me and how am I gonna practice this in a realistic way in my everyday life and to me, it just wasn't realistic um, in my everyday life to practice it this way. And um, so I had to explore what works for me and what other types of evangelism are out there. And um, I talked a bit about this in my Sharing Faith video, but there's many different forms of evangelism. There's relational evangelism, where you build a relationship with that person. You can do real... Um, <clears throat> You can do evangelism through volunteering and community outreach. You can do evangelism through actions and random acts of kindness. Um, I definitely think that you can show your love and passion for Jesus through the things that you do and through the acts that you do for other people. Um, I think these are all very valid forms of evangelism. And um, I think evangelism is a beautiful thing when it is done right. But I think one thing that's important as well is your intention. And I'll be completely honest, I don't feel like my intention was in the right spot when I was doing it in YWAM. I always felt like I was on a mission to save that person. And I don't think that's the right intention. I do believe that you should simply be sharing with that person to share your faith. That is your goal, is just to simply share your faith, not to convert that person. That should never be the goal behind evangelism. And it's one thing to say that, but it's one thing to know that in your heart as well. Um, another thing that I think is important is that you respect that person, respect what they believe and listen to what they believe. Um, and don't go around with the authority that you are right because you don't know you're right. Um, you don't know for sure if there's a God out there. So um, I think it's just important that you share your faith simply and listen to what they have to say too and respect it. And um, I think those are really important. And also if that person is interested in what you're saying, I think that it's important that you meet together at a separate occasion, at a separate time, because if that person wants to accept Christ into their heart, that's a big deal. And you should not just be asking someone that on the spot, because if you ask that on the spot, they might feel pressured, even if you're not trying to pressure them. Um, so I think it is important that you meet on a separate occasion at a cafe and really discuss it and make sure that this is what they want um, and that they understand that this is a big commitment. Um, so I think those are some things that we should consider when we do street evangelism as well. And um, I want to be honest with you guys, I personally um, am on a regular basis not practicing street evangelism anymore, but I do think it's completely an amazing thing that you can definitely do. Um, I think you can do evangelism however you want to do it and however you feel called. Um, I personally am not doing it anymore just because I don't feel like I have the right intention when I do it. And for me, it does create a lot of fear and anxiety, and that's not a reason not to do it, but I do feel like I'm more called to um, doing a more t relational type of evangelism. And above all else, I do think that actions speak louder than words. And that is a great thing that we can do is to show our acts of kindness to people, um, to show Jesus' love. Um, and that doesn't mean that I'm never going to do street evangelism again. If it 
the opportunity arises and I feel like it's natural and I feel comfortable and I feel like God is telling me to speak to that person, I will absolutely do that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share this all with you guys and be honest with you guys where I'm at. And um, yeah, I think we can practice different forms of evangelism and I don't think we have to practice all forms of evangelism. Um, yeah, so whatever you're feeling called to do, um, do it and pray about it. And um, I just also, one thing I want to say as well is there is no better form of evangelism. All forms of evangelism take courage. It takes courage to share your faith no matter what. Um, it takes faith to sh even like buy some groceries for a homeless person. It takes courage and strength to do all of these things. Um, so I really don't think one form of evangelism is better than the other. So we shouldn't compare the types of evangelism. So I hope this video is encouraging and everything makes sense. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Please subscribe. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day. And know that if God puts you to it, he will put you through it. Alright, bye guys.